Hey everyone, how's it going? So the other day I was like really, really craving some good fresh salsa. And usually when I buy salsa, I buy it from the store, um, the fresh salsa, not the jarred, uh, you know, regular aisle salsa. I usually buy the fresh. And I love, love fresh salsa. Well, I've been growing jalapenos and tomatoes in my backyard, and I've been making some dishes with those. And the other day I did actually make some hot sauce. And I was like, oh my gosh, it really turned out good. And I was thinking to myself, what if I made homemade salsa? And I'm like, you know what? I've been craving like a really, really good green, like tomatillo salsa, homemade, homemade salsa. salsa. It's a roasted tomatillo and avocado salsa. Oh yeah, that's happening. You know what? It's gonna be fresh, it's gonna be good. We are in for a treat. Pull up a chair, grab your tortilla chips, because we're about to make some awesome homemade salsa. So sit back and enjoy, because Cooking with the Claw starts now. Okay, so for the first step for our recipe, is we have these tomatillo tomatoes. They got this skin on them, and these are green tomatoes. Really, really tasty. We're gonna take off the skin, and then what we're gonna do is just slice these straight in half like that, and then I wanna get the core out. A little bit of a core on these. Do a little knife action there. So you just get that like that, put it in the basket. We're gonna be cooking these in the air fryer. We're gonna roast them. And then, so we'll have roasted tomatillos in our salsa. So I think what I'm gonna do is cut just to the side of the core there. And then what I'll do is just cut one, two, just like that, see? Pull the core right out. Bam, we got it. This is gonna be delicioso, I'm so excited. You can see the tomatillos, now we have them all ready to roast in the air fryer. We are gonna have one large jalapeno. We're gonna roast this. Let's cut it just in half, like that. And we'll take out a little bit of the seeds right into the mix. I'm gonna run these under the sink and then we're gonna get them in the air fryer. Okay, so one quick step before we put these in the air fryer is take a little cooking spray, this is olive oil. Just lightly spray the tomatoes. A little bit of pink Himalayan salt, or you can use sea salt. Crush a little on there. A little bit of black pepper. I'm gonna set this for 16 minutes to roast these in the air fryer, and then take them out and get ready to make our salsa. Now, if you are gonna cook these in a conventional oven, you can cook them 20 minutes on 400 degrees. Okay, while our tomatillos are roasting, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take two small avocados, just cut them straight in half, like so because <clears throat> this is going to be a roasted tomatillo and avocado salsa what i'm going to do is just cut these into four pieces like that and then filling out our items that we're going to also add you'll need a fourth of a cup of minced garlic and then we're going to chop up an onion we don't need it in small pieces because the food processor will do the trick on that, but I like to break it down a little bit, just like so. So we'll have our onion to throw into the processor with everything else. Other ingredients, we're gonna put some more pink Himalayan salt, or you can use sea salt as well. We are gonna add some more black pepper. One other ingredient is fresh lime juice. You can use bottled like this, or you can use the, the juice of a whole lime. And then last but not least, a little bit of cilantro. Just kind of break that down a little bit. So now we have our other ingredients besides the tomatillos and the jalapeno. Okay, so our tomatillo uh, tomatoes and the jalapenos done roasting. Look at these guys, oh my gosh, looks so good. Yum. Mixed together with everything in the in the uh, food processor, gonna be out of this world. So excited! I'm gonna let these rest for just a moment. 
kind of cool down for a little bit and then we're going to get them into the food processor. Okay, so we're good to go here. We have our food processor. We're going to, you could do a food processor or a blender. We're going to add all of our tomatillos right in first. We got our tomatillos in there. Next up, we're going to add our cilantro. Just kind of spread everything evenly in there. I got our jalapeno in four pieces. I cut it in half. We're going to take our fourth of a cup of garlic, minced, kind of spread it in there evenly, as well as three turns from the salt, a little bit of pepper, and then for this part, we're just going to put our avocado. Spread out. Man, this already smells good. We haven't even we haven't even done anything. It's already this is just ready to go. Looking good. We are also gonna put about a teaspoon teaspoon of cumin, right? A teaspoon of paprika and a teaspoon of ground oregano, dried, and two tablespoons of olive oil. This is organic olive oil, but any kind of olive oil will do. You can also use vegetable oil if you like, if you don't have any olive oil. Let's do two. And a half a cup of water. This is cold water. Okay, so the way I'm gonna do this, I'm not gonna set it on blend or anything, I'm just gonna pulse it. And then lastly, we're gonna put our onion in. We are doing either one juice, the juice of a whole lime, or one tablespoon of lime juice. That's our final ingredient. Over and out. All right, let's finish it up. Guys, it smells so good. Yum, malicious. I am telling you. Let me get a spoon, I gotta taste this. If this tastes anywhere near as good as it looks, we're in for a treat. Look how thick it is. Okay, so first taste, here we go. Mmm. Mmm. So much flavor. It's got a nice kick, but it's not overly spicy. Get in my belly. Mmm. So tangy. Really good. Got a little bit of crunchiness from the onion. Wow, we got a hit on our hands, guys. It would go good on quesadillas, burritos, eggs even. If you like salsa and you're into that sort of thing, you got to try this recipe. You're going to love it. It had the perfect amount of heat. I mean, not too spicy. You can taste that lime juice, the garlic. Oh, the cilantro even. It's like you can taste every ingredient individually, but together as a whole. It is out of this world. Highly recommend before you serve this that you chill it for about two hours. I think you're going to love it, really. So good. I'm going in for more. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a like on your way out and click the bell icon so you get notified of future videos. We're trying to build our channel organically with just uh, word of mouth. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a great day and I hope you have a fun uh, rest of your week and I look forward to seeing you next time. Just remember, when food tastes this good, it should really be against the law. You've been cooking with the claw. Have a great day. Talk to you soon.